welcome to my channel SS Academy. Today we will study decay graphs, exponential decay and the half-life. Table of contents, measuring the decay of protactinium-234, exponential decay, the decay constant and the half-life and an example. Measuring the decay of protactinium-234. Now, in order to determine the half-life of a radioactive substance in the laboratory, you need to choose something that will not decay too quickly or too slowly. The most suitable isotope in this case is protactinium-234, which decays by emitting beta radiations. This is produced in a bottle containing a solution of a uranyl nitrate, which is a uranium compound. By shaking the bottle, you can separate the protactinium into the top layer of solvent in the bottle. The counter allows you to measure the decay of the protactinium. Now, after recording the number of counts in consecutive equal intervals of time over a period of a few minutes, you can then draw a graph and use it to find the half-life of protactinium 234. Now, it takes 72 seconds for the activity to fall to half. After another 72 seconds, it has halved again and so on. Now, as it takes a time t half for the number of nuclei to fall from n naught to n naught by 2, we see that it takes the same time for the number of undecayed nuclei to fall from n naught by 2 to n naught by 4 and from n naught by 4 to n naught by 8 where n0 is the original number of nuclei. It means in an exponential decay curve, the number of nuclei always fall by the same fraction in the same time. Now the equation for this curve is n0 is n is equal to n0 e raised to the power minus lambda t, where n is the number of nuclei at time t and lambda is the decay constant. We can also write this equation in terms of activity or recorded count rate like a is equal to a naught e raised to the power minus lambda t and c is equal to c naught e raised to the power minus lambda t. As a is activity and it is proportional to the number of nuclei present like a is equal to lambda n as we have studied in the previous les lesson and the recorded count rate is proportional to the activity. The decay constant and the half-life. The decay constant of a radioactive nucleide is, is probability of decay per unit time per second and higher, the higher the probability of decay, the more rapidly the nucleide decays and so the shorter its half-life. So half-life and decay constant, they are related with the following equation. T half is equal to log of 2 divided by lambda, which is 0.693 over lambda which is equal to 0.693 tau, where tau is 1 over lambda, where lambda is the decay constant. Now, care must be taken with the units. If lambda is in per second, t and t half must be in seconds. The exponential equation no longer applies when only a few nuclei remain because of the random nature of the decay. Now, we will derive a link between lambda and t half. We will rearrange this equation n is equal to n naught e raised to the power minus lambda t, which will give n naught over n equal to e raised to the power lambda t. And as t is t half, n will be equal to n naught by 2. So we will substitute this value of t and n. We get n naught over n naught by 2 is equal to e raised to the power lambda t half n naught and n naught will be cancelled out. So we are left with 2 is equal to e raised to the power lambda t half or taking log to base e on both sides, log of 2 is equal to lambda t half or t half is equal to log of 2 over lambda or 0.693 over lambda. So this is the relationship between half-life and the decay constant. Example. Now, a radionuclide has a half-life of 55 seconds. Initially, a sample of the nucleoid contains 5,000 nuclei. We have to find out A, what is the decay constant for this nuclei? B, how many nuclei remain undecayed after 200 seconds? So first, we will use the same equation we have derived in the last page. T half is equal to 0.693 over lambda, 
So substituting the value of t half, we get lambda equal to 0.693 over 55, which is 1.26 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 per second. And how many nuclei remain undecayed after 200 seconds? Again, we use the equation n is equal to n naught e raised to the power minus lambda d as n naught is the original number of nuclei, which is 5000 t lambda we have just now calculated 1.26 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 t means t 200 seconds as we have to find out number of nuclei that will remain undecayed after 200 seconds. So n comes out to be 400 nuclei. Thank you for watching.